Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. Today, we are going to talk about music. Wow, that's going to be so nice. All right, now look at this, my question. How much do you know about music? Diego, please tell me, do you like music? Yes, I like music. Hey, that's but I don't like dance. Ah, well, but you like to listen to music. Yes, yes. I, I hear right. a lot of genres. Um, uh, I don't like I don't like too much the Norteño music, but sometimes you know, it's a, if I have to, I listen to it. Hey, that's to be tolerant. That's very, yes. very good. All right. And what's your favorite uh, kind of music? Your favorite genre? Uh, pop rock. Hey, that's pop great. Pop rock is my favorite, yes. All right. Thank you very much, Diego. So tell me, Diego, who is next? Who do you want to listen to? Uh, Najeli. Thank you. Okay, Najeli. Do you like music? Yes. Excellent. What's your favorite? Uh, I like listening all the music, anything but reggaeton. Okay. <laughs> oh, very good. And tell me, what's your favorite? Is pop, um, balada, rock. Well, a rock. Hey, that's very good. All right. Thank you very much. Nayeli, who's your victim? Um, uh, okay. Um, Samuel. All right. Thank you. Samuel, tell us, do you like music? Yes, I like music i love music hey that's great and tell us what's your favorite kind of music well i i like uh, blues also i like classical music and i i can say that my favorite genre is heavy metal hey that's metal heavy metal bands like Iron Maiden, Metallica. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, thank you very much. Diego, please tell us who's your victim. Um, uh, Angeles. All right, thank you. Hello. Okay, Angeles, please talk to us about your favorite music. Do you like music? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I like la, the music romantic. And the music uh, pop. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay, tell me, who's your victim? Um, Gaby. Thank you. Okay. Um, my my favorite uh, music is the pop. Um, um, the um, the piano. The piano music, and the relaxed music. Wow. I don't like I don't like uh, cumbias uh, or um, reggaeton or something like this uh, special like reggaeton and cumbia and salsa okay mm -hmm. all right thank you very much gabby gabby tell us who's your victim okay uh, uh, paloma thank and you next mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, well, teacher, I love the music, uh, all kind of music, I love it. But um, I prefer the 80s music, pop and romantic, and the 
jazz music, I love it too, and classic music too. I love all kinds of music, but I have exceptions, and my exception is reggaeton, banda. It's, uh -huh. uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I prefer no listen nothing. If, if, in some places, I have the, the opportunity to, to select or enjoy that music. I prefer go outside. Hey, that's great. All right, Paloma. You know what, Paloma, I have a question. Uh, as everybody knows, you are living in Pennsylvania. So, what kind of music is it very common to be listening there? Well, uh, if my friends, well, the, the, my friends are Mexican, Colombian, and Puerto Rican people, and, and American people too. But my friends, I consider when my friends in, in, in Mexico, my, my people, Mexican. Your Mexican they, friends? Yes, they, they prefer listen to the, to the uh, ranchero, uh, bachata, and reggaeton. Oh my goodness, it, it is very difficult to me, but well, okay. They they uh, invite uh, invite me to they are parties and well I I I need a uh, ten minutes to to relax when mm -hmm. I have this kind of of well when they put this kind of music no but it's it's well to me it's sometimes it's difficult but well I I'm every time I learn to something about. Uh, they are, um, I don't know how you say in English, teacher, gustos? Likes. Likes, okay, likes, but well, I, I, I respect that. Yeah, that's it. I think and that... Our, our teacher, and the, and the American people, uh, they, 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 they are parties, uh, they listen to uh, the American singers now, and 80s, uh, uh, 80s music too. They, they prefer that. Hey, that's great. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, you're right. You said something about to respect. We have to be tolerant because yeah. maybe we don't like that the kind of music other people is listening, but it doesn't mean that they can't listen to it just because we don't like it. Yes, we have to be tolerant. All right, hey, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go to the next part. Here we are. Ta da! Look at this. Here we have some facts about music. They say that memories triggered by music cause some of the strongest emotional response and can be very intense. What do you think about it? What's your opinion? Do you think that music has the power of bringing back some memories to our mind? Mm -hmm. Teacher, I don't know the word trigger. Ah, trigger means that causes. It reacts, cause a reaction. Thank you. My pleasure. So, what do you think about it? What's your opinion? Teacher, can, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Samuel. Um, sorry. Uh, I'm agree with that idea. Because right. when I when I am listening some songs, I remember uh, some facts of my life. And also I experiment some... Um, um, emotions, emotions. For example, <laughs> the the past uh, December nine, the, the the last year, my grandfather died, oh, and no. and I am, um, I was sorry, I was playing my guitar uh, before the 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 new, the bad new, before the bad new, I I was playing my guitar. And when I am um, listen to to the song that I was playing, 
Well, I I have uh, an emotion. Mm -hmm. It triggers you the the emotion because you remember what you knew when you were playing. Yes. Yes, you're right. Kind of like that happened to me also when I hear a special kind of songs because they were the, the ones that my father used to play and sing. Oh, yes, that's it. All right, thank you very much, Samuel. Anybody else's opinion? Vera, what do you think about it? I'm agree either because the music um, gave us uh, emotions, different emotions. It depends on your mood and you, you can pick a, a song. It depends on your feelings. If, if you feel happy, you want to listen to reggaeton or if you sad you want or in love you would like to listen with Miguel or something romantic so the music is like the environment of our feelings is my opinion hey thank you very much Vera all right you're welcome oh, Vera who's next who do you want to listen to uh, let me see who is in the room Maggie. It's me. <laughs> All sorry, right. Maggie. No, it's okay. You know what? I totally agree with this idea because I think that music is present all of the time in our lives. And whenever something happened in our lives, of course, there was music present. So uh, whenever we fall in love. Teacher, may I, do, may I say something? Oh yes, of course. Uh, today I was listening to uh, uh, the radio, the radio, and in some, uh, and a person say that one singer, very famous, uh, uh, in U.S. say that she loves um, Latin American music, and the song that she uh, posts in her Facebook was. Uh, suavemente and um, the singer of the song say thank you to her because she has like uh, three million people in her Facebook I don't remember the name of this singer but it's a famous lady I gonna search the name and post it in the whatsapp next time it's okay, but yes, you know what? Uh, it was a very good recommendation for the other people uh, that that she mentioned the song in her Facebook. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I was saying that yes, whenever we fall in love, for example, we have a song, a favorite song, or whenever we feel extremely happy whenever we feel so enthusiastic uh, we like also so energetic music so yes music triggers memories all right thank you now my victim is gabby okay maggie um i think that the music uh, for me can cause uh, a very special uh, memories of my um, when I was young because uh, uh, when I listen a favorite song or a favorite artist uh, for example Michael Jackson I feel something special because I feel um, I want to dance I want to sing I want to Jump. It, for me, it's special the memories uh, uh, of the uh, of some songs. Yes, what what brings you back to memory? Eh? That's mm -hmm. great. Thank you very much, Gabby. All right, so Gabby, please, who's your victim? Mm -hmm. um, wait a minute, please. Uh, uh, Juan. 
Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you very much. Juan, we listen to you. What do you think about that phrase? Juan, hello, don't be shy, don't go. Well, he has, he has gone. All right, anybody else? Um, Diego, Jose? Diego yes? can. Diego, all Diego right, thank you. Uh, Diego, are you there? Diego, hello, don't be shy. Mm. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. What's your opinion, Diego? Well, I think uh, our memories attach some music, some, some experiences. You know, like you say, when you are falling in love with somebody, your memory attaches that music with that situation like our, our uh, classmate say when he was playing his his guitar he knew about the the his uh his grandfather passed away his memory attached that situation to to his music so that is why the memories trick music and stronger emotions like uh for myself is it's it's um uh, uh, when I met my wife like 30 years ago, maybe uh, nobody of you know this uh, band. The name of the band is Informer. And that when, when, I, when I hear that music, you know, m my heart starts beating really, really fast because I... I remember the moment when I met her. Hey, that's beautiful. Thank you very much for sharing that experience. That's That was so touching. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, Diego, who's your victim? Teacher. Uh, oh, yes. May I say something? Yes, of course. I read that our heart has near so that's why we can remember emotions because our hearts has memories. Oh my! Um, storage in our heart. Mm -hmm, that's it. It's kind of like an emotional memory. Uh, neurons, neurona? Yes. We have neurons in our heart as we we have it on our brain so that's why we remember we attach these feelings in in this song and let us remember the feeling that we was feeling <laughs> in uh -huh. that period of time in, oh in that time hey thank you very much that was extremely interesting Thank you. That was very yes. good. All right, Vera. Thank you. Okay. Good. So, anybody else who wants to speak, let's do it voluntarily. All right. Okay, teacher. Me uh, to me, it's a. Uh, it's uh, I, I am agree with this uh, phrase. Memory is triggered by music because of uh, the strong emotional. It's true because teacher, the, the music have a, a special power, and and you can um, feel sad or or happy emotions with with one song, and and I in, in my opinion it's a, it's fantastic these sensations because only with listen. Uh, uh, special music for you or or for special moments in your life you you can travel to the past or for the uh, that moment when you you live in uh, some situation no and and, and uh, to me it's, it's a it's a great 
Well, when when is uh, something music for uh, sad memories? Well, it's uh, it's, it's a strong no, but for the rest, for the all uh, happy emotions, is a uh, it's a fantastic. Uh, um, I, I am that no. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. You can experience a fantastic feeling. Yeah. Right. Hey, thank you very much. Yes, that's it. Okay. So, anybody else? Come on, Jesus, welcome. Yes. Yes, we listen to you. Uh, anybody who wants to to voluntarily speak? Hi, Maggie. Yes, all right, Nayeli. Uh, um, I agree that some kind of music makes me feel stronger and positive. For example, Eye of the Tiger, the Rocky movie song, D, 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 D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're right. That's it. And it makes maybe it makes you feel energetic. Yes, Maggie. Hey, that's great. You know what? I guess that sometimes there are some songs that specialists use for different activities because, of course, they uh, produce the effect that they need in that moment. For example, when you go to a, a parent's workshop and they begin to play some uh, um, childlike music, it is so touching and sometimes it can be also shocking. All right, so anybody else who wants to, to say anything? No, look at this. Now let's go to the next. Here you are. Mm. Uh, 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 with the arrow, yeah, here we are. The Japanese word karaoke comes from a phrase meaning empty orchestra. Did you know that? No. No, that's nice. Uh, empty because there are no uh, instruments. Mm -hmm, that's it, no musician, uh, even though you can listen to music. Okay. Um, tell me, do you like to to karaoke in the in parties in the parties? Hello, any yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Sometimes uh, my friends have the karaoke in in, in their parties. They say, oh my goodness, when it's my turn to sing, oh no, no, no. <laughs> It is incredible, but uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm not a good singer, sorry. <laughs> ah, it's okay. All right. And tell me, is anybody here who likes very much to sing? Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, yes. Do anybody of you like to sing very much? Oh, yeah. I like to sing, but my singing is awful. Hey, that's so I, I use I use sing on the shower by myself. Hey, that's good. All right, anybody else? Hello, don't be. Well, shy. teacher, I I don't like to sing. Well, I like to sing, but my I I don't have a, a good voice to sing. I would like to have a better voice because I, I play the guitar and I would like to play my guitar and also sing at the same time. But also it is very hard for me because the songs that I am trying to play in my guitar are very hard. Uh, I mean, I, I'm trying to play heavy metal, heavy metal and heavy metal isn't very easy. Mm -hmm. And when I am trying to sing uh, and play at the same time, I'm, I'm failed. I failed. So I suppose that I have to to practice, to practice more and more because 
in internet or or, or f uh, in another media i listen to artists that can sing very well and play the guitar at the same time and i think that they are um, the greatest artists for me because it is very hard. Yeah, I, I understand that. I also play the guitar and sing. And yes, at first it was really difficult for me because I, I should be paying attention to what I played or to what I had to sing. But <laughs> nowadays I, I can do it more or less. But anyway, yes, you know what? The, um, the explanation for this is that we have to use uh, our brain in a very higher level because we have to coordinate uh, the, both activities and not only to sing and to play but also what we are feeling whenever we sing because oh, yeah. of course sometimes we tend to be nervous yes uh -huh. uh, and also you know what, I, uh, I uh, sorry, how can I say admirar? Admire. Oh, thank you. Also, uh, I admire the, the people that play the piano because, for example, in, in the guitar or in another instruments, you are playing only the melody, for example. But in the piano, you have to play the melody and also the, uh, the harmony. Mm -hmm, that's it. And it is very, um, very hard because you are playing two keys, the, the key mm -hmm. of, of G and also the key of um, F. Uh -huh, so I, I, I have seen some uh, singers that can play the piano very well and also sing at the same time and I think that that people is like um, sorry I have I don't have the the word right now how can I say super dotado uh, they are a uh, super people oh <laughs> thank you super. well I think that that people are super people because it is very hard to play the piano Yes, that's it. Even you know what I have heard, for example, Paul McCartney, who is an excellent, extraordinary musician, uh, and something that I really, really admire about Paul McCartney is not only the way he plays and composes, but he can play a whole or orchestra by himself. For example, I don't know if you have heard the song. Uh, we all go together. Uh, it's it's a children song by Paul McCartney, but he plays all of the instruments and he makes all of the voices in different uh, tracks, and it's wonderful. That's a wonderful piece. Of How music. could he do that, teacher? Yeah, uh, uh, he's a superb person. He's a um, a very trained skilled uh, musician but as we said before practice it is not only to have a, a very developed brain but also to practice whenever we practice we develop many different in, uh, parts of our brain and we raise our capacities or abilities so somebody told me one day that talent is something that we are born with but also, talent is something that we can construct day by day by practicing. And we can go to mastery whenever we practice a lot. Yeah, you're, you're right, teacher. I, I was remembering that um, some, someday I see in the, in, the, in the TV, I don't remember, exactly where but i remember that uh, a man uh, was saying that the um, sorry how can i say discipline 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 mm -hmm, that's it okay 
That man was saying that one day the discipline could. Um, oh, sorry, teacher. I I don't have the words right now. It's okay, but I think that what you mean is that discipline replaces talent. No, no, no. I I I mean that one day the discipline could overcome uh -huh. the, the intelligence. That's it. That's it. Because yes. that that man was. Uh, I don't remember his name, but he's the the, the owner of Yakult, mm. and he he does some uh, conferences to to workers for workers, and he said uh, that idea, this idea. Yes, you're right. Okay. So I, yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. So, um, you know what? Music is not only an activity. It is not only um, a hobby, but it's also a medicine. It is also talent, and it is also feelings. So, you know what? Um, I would like to listen to Jesus Romero. Jesus. Uh, I listened to you playing the guitar and singing. Uh, I remembered your song, and I think that you are a very talented person. So, Jesus, could you talk to us about it? What do you feel when you are playing the guitar and singing? Jesus, don't be shy. Jesus, are you there? Mm. Teacher, yes. sorry, but I think that some of, of, of us uh, has the has their microphone locked because I have received a message that said the host has locked your your microphone. Ah yes, I'm sorry. But, okay, Jesus, can you speak? Hello. I have already turned the microphone on, but ah uh, well, I would like to to talk to you something about it. When I uh, turn the microphone on off, it's because we are listening a lot of noise from your microphone. Maybe we can listen a dog barking, or we can listen to to a baby crying or sometimes a person who is fighting to you so, so that you can have more privacy when you are uh, when we are listening noise from your microphone i turn it off but you can also um, move it you can also turn it on all right hello jesus are you there well uh, maybe he's uh, having some problems with it. But please, do me a favor. Now, what we are going to do is to pay attention to the phrases that we have, the, the ideas. For example, here we have music transcends language barriers by being a universal language. That's very interesting. Thinking rather than speaking will often result in increased interactivity if people with ASD who process speech, timbre, and rhythm in different areas of the brain. Mm. ASD is um, the autism syndrome. Music provides a non-verbal, non-threatening way of confronting issues. Hey, that's great. Musical elements, structure, and predictability provide a sense of security and safety for individuals that thrive on routines. Uh, here another, equal or superior abilities in pitch processing, labeling our emotions in music and musical difference when compared to typically de developing peers. Or this other, music activities both 
Uh, music activates both hemispheres of the brain and stimulates cognitive processing. Wow, so please select one of these ideas or this one of Mozart. He was known to meow during the rehearsals and even to jump around on tables and furniture like a cat. This eventually carried over into his music when he wrote The Cat Do It. Okay, so choose one and talk to us about your, uh, what, what you think, your opinion about this, all right? Uh, take uh, two minutes to do it and later on, please uh, ask for, for the turn to speak. Oh my, yeah, don't worry, Jesus. Yes. Teacher. Yes. And I need to leave the conversation because I'm on the... Um, uh, I, in, in La Agencia. Uh -huh. I bring my car and they asking me to, to leave. They're going to close. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry, Vera. It's okay. I'm glad to join this class. See you next week. Well, I'm going to listen to you next week. All right. Meet you next week and have a very good evening. Good night. You, you too. Good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, please tell me. Is this the only the class for... Sorry. Is this class the only one for uh, C1 level in, in the week, only the Monday? Well, let me tell you that this is for B1. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From 9 to 10, we have the C1. Oh, sorry. So, I, I, I have forgot the, the, the shell, so sorry. Oh, yeah, so good. Don't worry. But you know what, Samuel? We have another one. We have a, on Sunday, Sunday, 8 p.m., we have another class for C1. So if you are not able to be online on Monday, 9 p.m., you can also be on Sunday, 8 p.m. Okay, 8 p.m. to 9. Okay. Well, sorry, teacher. I, no, okay. I thought that I was in the correct level. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Anyway, you know what? It is very useful also to, uh, to be in other levels so that you can listen to other uh, classmates, other opinions. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Paloma, please talk to us. What do you think? Angeles, Gaby, Jose Luis. Uh, well, teacher, uh, you talk about Mozart, and Mozart, he, he was a, a interesting man. I, I, I think this this guy, he, he was the other planet, uh, because the, he was a super smart, in, in my opinion. And and the talent, the the intelligence, and I, I I don't know if other other musicians have the same capacity. Uh, in the uh, for example, if we com uh, compare with Mozart, no, and and sometimes I'm watching in the TV one a movie about the his life. And, and it's interesting the, how, how they have the aptitudes when he uh, plays in the piano. And what well, I think it's, it's an interesting person, his life. And, 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 and for example, some uh, pieces, uh, classical pieces, uh, uh, Mozart, uh, have the capacity to help us when we are studying uh, mathematics. Mm -hmm. And if you if you looking for in YouTube some videos or music videos, 
you 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 can uh, uh, look or you can uh, view something or listen uh, videos specific for uh, understand and something for example mathematics or or for relax or or for a study uh, many many topics no and and I think it's it's very interesting it's a to me it's a great a great uh, man he was a great man and and his music uh, it's a it's a fantastic this is my opinion yeah thank you very much it's what we call um, the Mozart okay. effect mm -hmm. okay. I, I am yeah. agree with Paloma uh, are you Paloma okay yes <laughs> I am with, with Paloma because I read something about Mozart that say that he was a good writer because it was incredible the way to write the music and the quickly that he do it uh, it say that uh, nobody can write in in this moment uh, the same uh, the number of, of music or number of partituras i don't know i don't know how to say partituras uh -huh. compositions uh, compositions uh, and if you need um, many years to write uh, the same uh, uh, number of party uh, of compositions that mozart and only Mozart lives, lives uh, I don't I don't remember uh, um, his uh, his old or his, uh, his years. ¿Cuántos años tenía? His age. But, uh -huh, his, his age. And it's supposed that he dies at uh, 30 uh, years, 33, something like this. Uh -huh. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even the the age when he began composing. Mm -hmm. Do anybody else know anything about this? Know anything about Mozart? No, teacher, but well, I I, I don't know anything about Mozart, but I find very interesting that idea about Mozart because. I suppose that every artist or every mus musician uh, have um, his own excesses or maybe, how can I say, manias? Uh -huh, some alibises. Alibises, thank you. Because, for example, some artists like Mozart has the, the alibis of jump around the, on the tables and furnitures like a cat for example uh -huh. but another musicians have bad excesses for example i know a, a guitar player that is called Inbe Malmsteen oh yeah uh, he he play the guitar very very well but i i don't like him because he is very egotistical. He he feels like he is the the best guitar player in the world, and it isn't true. So I I think that maybe a musician can can have some alibis or excesses, but uh, maintaining a good attitude. Mm -hmm. To be humble is something so important excuse yes. me teacher and he he uh, when he was six years old he began to play the piano mm -hmm, that's it and and he died uh, very young 35 years old aha uh -huh. he uh, he have a, a, a professional well professional uh, life with comp how composer uh, uh, 30 years maybe aha uh -huh. yeah that's it because he had a very brief life a yes. very short life yes but he 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 began when he was a child 
Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody who would like to express your opinion about some of these posts? Uh, well, we have already talked about Mozart, but uh, what about the skills or the abilities that we can develop by playing music or by listening to music? Well, can I say something, teacher? Oh, yes, of course. Um, I like this idea that says music activates both hemispheres on the brain and it stimulates cognitive processing. Uh, one time ago, I I read in a website from internet that the fact of listening classical music can improve our cognitive processing. And when I am making my homework or I am a, a developer, software developer, when I am coding some programs I like to listen in uh, music and specifically I think that classical music can classical music has a um, magical power I, I, I think because when you listen to to it you can experiment some emotions and feelings and I think Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I think that it is good for our brain. Yeah, that's it. They are brain stimuli. So yes, they help you. It helps you to use your brain in in a maximized way. So it maximizes the the brain functions. Hey, that's pretty good. Thank you. That was a very good comment. All right. Come on, Angeles, Jose Luis, Nayeli, Alejandro. What about you? Talk to us about what you think. Angeles. Uh, okay. Uh, Angeles, what is your level? Uh, are you in level A1, B1, A2? Hello, Angeles. Well, don't worry. You know what? This is level B1. But it is very common that listening is difficult for us. So don't worry, Angeles. If you feel that you don't understand very much or very well the ideas, you just need a little more of practice. Don't worry. It's okay. All right. So what about Jose Luis? Please talk to us. Alejandro. Hello, teacher. Yes, please. This, this is my first class, actually. And I'm just listening because I take the class a little late and I, I don't want to disturb you. Then for, for that reason, it's my first um uh, talking to you and I, I don't know in what level I am actually for me it's a little difficult to know because I'm confused with the B1, the A2 or that kind of things. I think it's the one beside the C1. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh -huh, but, kind of like that. But you know what? If you are in C1 uh, then you should be in the next class, but it's okay. And no, I, actually, I'm not in that level. I'm one level before. B2. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 I think. It's uh, very interesting, actually. I'm listening all my partners, and they are have a, a lot of reason, because the music, it's very, it's very different to one genre to another genre, you know? When you listen, I don't know, country music, you can feel uh, very, 
very happy and you can listen classic classical music and some melodies are very sad and other melodies are very uh, happy <clears throat> very happy sorry and it's the is the the nicest of the music no you can feel different things with different melodies mm -hmm, that's it and it triggers different emotions uh, for example as you said some classical music tends to be a little melancholic some of them are very energetic yes all right thank you very much alejandro uh, so um, uh, what about jose luis i insist nayeli You know what? Um, I think that music not only helps us to be happy, but also it's medicine. Okay, Nayeli, we listen to you. Okay. Este, in my opinion, Maggie, um, the music can help children to de develop his language and skills. It helps them then to express whether they need aha uh -huh, that's it that's why in the kindergarten programs we have music all of the time because it is pretty good for helping children developing all of their skills their oral skills speaking skills and listening also uh, listening comprehension all right well you know what I think it is very interesting and we are very delighted talking about music. Unfortunately, we have already finished, uh, but I meet you next class, please, class B1 at, at 8 p.m. every Monday. So thank you very much. Have a very good night. Thank you very much. Good night, Maggie. Hey, good Thank you, night. teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thanks to you. Yeah. Good night. See you later. Thank you. Meet you later. Thank you, Maggie. Bye. Thanks to you. Good night.